What's poppin' everybody? It's Ono Kage, otherwise known as The King. Now, you've already read the title, so you know what the what if is about. It's going over what if Goku and Vegeta trained Naruto and Sasuke. And to preface this idea, I want to tell you where our characters are at in their lives. Naruto and Sasuke have just passed the bell test with Kakashi. Um, and Goku and Vegeta, I have just finished the Tournament of Power. So it's Goku and Vegeta at the height of their power when Naruto and Sasuke at pretty much the beginning of their story. I didn't want to do Naruto from the from stealing the scroll with Mitsuki simply because I didn't want to. So let's just jump right into the story. Hot so cold, I think I'm done with ice. Said I leave her, she gon' die. Well, bitch, you done with life. Okay. Got a shot, it called me Patty, and yeah, she hella right. Uh huh. Freeze, walk up in the club, I got your chicken tice. Uh. Got my ice, say my piece, you know I'm walking. We start with Goku and Vegeta training with Whis. Goku starts to space out and gets a mean right hook by Vegeta. Vegeta annoyed states, what the hell are you doing Kakarot? Goku's rubbing his cheek and he states, Vegeta, I was just thinking, we met so many amazing people at the Tournament of Power. What if you travel to another universe to train and fight with super strong people from there? Vegeta crosses his arms and states, I've actually wondered that myself Kakarot. I think we've peaked with knowledge and experience with your game here. Vegeta then turns his attention to the angel. Whis, what other universes are there that could expand our power? Whis, in his angelic voice, grabs his staff, looks into it and closes one eye and states, hmm, interesting question Vegeta. Let me check. After a few seconds of silence, Whis interjects, oh, I think I found an interesting one. This world has very capable fighters, however, they do not understand the concept of ki or energy. They use a power called chakra. Vegeta interrupts. What do you mean they don't understand ki? If they can't get that much, they're worthless. But hearing that, Goku stands up with a huge smile on his face. If they don't understand it, Vegeta, we'll teach them. You heard Whis, they're good fighters. With ki, they might actually be able to give us a good fight. Whis speaks up. Actually, Goku, they might just surpass you two. This chakra is very interesting, and the youth have amazing potential from what I can see. Hearing this perks up Vegeta and Goku's ears, but for very different reasons. Goku is simply excited at the prospect of a good fight and surpassing his limits. Vegeta feels disrespected that Whis would even assume someone could grow to surpass him. Hmm. Oh really? The beings of this universe could grow to surpass me? This I gotta see. Fine, I'll go. Now Vegeta, Goku, this will be an amazing training experience for you both. However, you will not be allowed to participate in any fight of this universe. You may train with your students, spar with any willing participant, but you will not solve their problems. Goku nods excitedly. Vegeta scoffs. I'm not this idiot, Whis. Gesturing towards Goku, Whis smiles. Then gather around. Oh, and Goku, how many of those sensu beans do you have on you? Goku states that he has 12 left. Good. Then give Vegeta half. Now boys, time in this universe moves far slower than in our own. Two years there is one day here. So you don't need to worry about your families. They won't even notice you're gone. Vegeta swiftly lets out a sigh of relief while Goku scratches the back of his head and laughs. You know, I didn't quite think about that. But it'll be a relief for Chi-Chi. Oh. Vegeta frustratedly states, You're an unbelievable clown, Kakarot. Goku just laughs as we teleports them away. Meanwhile, Naruto, Sasuke, and Sakura just finished the bell test with Kakashi and learned the value of Nakama and teamwork and all that good shit. Then, after that's over, Team 7 goes off on their own to train. Kakashi goes to report to the Hokage. Naruto and Sasuke go off on their own to train while Sakura goes home because at this age Sakura really isn't interested in training and stuff like that. So Naruto was doing basic strength training on his own, sparring with his clones while Sasuke is working on his technique and the intensity of his fireball jutsu. Around the same time they collapse panting, sweating bullets before they get back up to continue their training. Naruto is practicing his taijutsu now throwing punches and kicks in the air. After a while, he throws a full power right hook, landing a solid square head on Goku's jaw after he used instant, trans instant transmission following 
the huge source of power coming from Naruto. Goku smiles and rubs his cheek. <laughs> Again, huh? Well, at least you got a good arm on your kid. Naruto hurriedly runs up to the man saying, I'm so sorry, mister. I guess I didn't know my own strength, you know? Are you okay? Goku still smiling says, Oh, don't worry about me, kid. He then gets down into his classic fighting stance. But you better get ready. I'm going to help you train. Naruto is shocked. What the hell are you talking about? I just met you. Goku, after gauging the boy's abilities from that one punch, rushes at him, throwing a feint, which Naruto easily dodges, and throws a counter punch, which Goku blocks with his elbow. And while taking his left arm and jabbing Naruto straight in the gut, making him fall to his knees, Goku looks at Naruto and laughs. I'm sorry, was that too much? Naruto looks up, smiling. I'm just getting started. The area around Goku is violently filled with thick white clouds of smoke as Naruto sends six clones that jump on Goku's back, arms, and legs, trying to pin him down, while the original Naruto is rushing into the clouds left by the smoke bomb, aiming for a kick to Goku's face. Sensing this, Goku smiles. Whis was right. These kids do have potential. As he thinks this to himself, he does a slight power up, forcing all the clones and the original Naruto off him and onto their backs. The clones dissipate. Naruto then smiles, charging the chakra he has. You're pretty good, but this ain't all I got. Naruto forms a seal from Shadow Clones, surging chakra all throughout his body, even tapping into the fox a little. A nuts turn, and make his blue eyes slant like, but not go red. Before he yells out, multi Shadow Clone Jutsu, making a hundred clones in an instant. Goku looks at this, thinking it's some variation of the multi form technique. So it must cut the power of the user. So as the clones surround him from all angles, he drops his guard to demonstrate the weakness of the technique to the boy. But as he raises his hand to block the closest Naruto, his arm slightly buckles under the weight and force of Naruto's punch, surprising Goku. This kid must be two, no three times stronger than before. As Goku easily defeats the clones by forming a spirit ball and having it tear through the clones rushing towards him from the air. As the clones approach Goku's legs, he powers up and lets out a roar and slams the first clone to the ground, creating an explosion of dust higher than the treetops that destroyed the earth around them, dissipating all the clones except for eight. Naruto stares, panting, almost out of breath. It's like this guy knows every move I'm about to make. How do I even get close to him? The clones throw down smoke bombs. As soon as the smoke is thick enough, four demon wind shurikens fly out towards Goku, which he effortlessly dodges. Then the remaining Naruto's rush after Goku, try to knock his feet from under him. As a demon wind shuriken turn back into Naruto and throw Kunai at Goku's chest. Seeing this, seeing that this boy never gives up makes Goku smile. As he yells, sending a shockwave knocking all the kunai, and knocking all the kunai back and dissipating the remaining clothes. Naruto falls to his hands and knees panting. And Goku walks up to Naruto giving him a hand up. Yo, the name's Goku, what's yours? Strained, he says. Naruto. Well, good job, Naruto. We can continue after we get a bite to eat. Both their bellies grumble. Cause I'm starved. They both smile. As, they, as they're about to walk off towards the village, they are surrounded by Anbu Black Ops. Goku states, I figured you guys would come out eventually, but how can we help you? Meanwhile, Sasuke is doing his kunai training. He jumps high in the air and throws eight kunai all colliding with each other before eventually hitting their mark. As Sasuke lands, he hears a branch snap before seeing a man exit the bushes. Sasuke annoyed states, what are you doing here? This land belongs to the Uchiha. Vegeta ignores the kid's statement and simply says, impressive, but is that all you can do? Sasuke is starting to get really annoyed. If you don't leave now, I'll make you. Vegeta smiles, now that's what I wanted to hear. Well, go on then, make me leave. Vegeta gets down in his classic fighting stance. If you can, that is, grunt. Sasuke immediately does a backflip to gain some distance. While he's in the air, he throws two shuriken tied to strings. Seeing this, Vegeta frowns. Pathetic. You really are nothing but a one trick pony, huh? Vegeta easily catches the shuriken on his two fingers. Seeing this makes Sasuke smile. Fireball, Phoenix Flower Jutsu. This sends four fireballs hurtling towards Vegeta. At great speeds, two fireballs are coming from the sides, closing in, closing Vegeta's escape route, while the other two are traveling down the line of the shuriken. Vegeta just stands to judge the boy's ability, as all four fireballs crush down on him. 
Vegeta stands as he becomes engulfed in the flames of the raging inferno. Sasuke loses the man's image as he thinks he's been burned to ash. Sasuke just stares at the fire, panting. He was already exhausted from his training. The Phoenix Flower technique left him drained. As he's getting ready to walk, as he's getting ready to walk away, Vegeta begins to laugh. And as he continues to laugh, he walks out of the flames unscathed. Impressive for a human. On a scale of one to a hundred, I give you a six. Sasuke falls to the ground speechless, except for the one phrase that caught his ear. For, for a human? Nani the fuck? <laughs> okay, but in seriousness, Vegeta interrupts. If you don't get up, I'll burn this land. And Sasuke responds. Sasuke responds back. No, you can't. This is all. This land is all I have left in my clan. Vegeta begins to walk towards Sasuke. Hearing Vegeta's footsteps snap Sasuke back into reality, he begins to crawl away. Seeing this cowardice, Vegeta gets frustrated. If all you're gonna do is crawl away, I'll gladly send you to meet this clan of yours. Vegeta reeks. Vegeta reeks of bloodlust, paralyzing Sasuke. I'm gonna die. He's gonna kill me. Sasuke's mind is thrown back to the memories of his parents. His mom, dad, I failed you. I couldn't avenge you. As he thinks this, he hears Itachi's voice. Foolish little brother. You can never hope to win. No. Sasuke thinks this to himself. No, I can't die here. Not like this. This feeling of fear he has for his life. The feeling of love he had for his parents. The feeling of hate he has for his brother. No. I won't lose. He explodes with anger, awakening his one Tomo Sharingan. But Vegeta closed the distance. As he's throwing a punch that's about to slam into Sasuke's stomach, he sees this. He can't dodge it, so he takes a deep breath, places one hand on Vegeta's wrist and shoulder to throw off Vegeta's balance, sending the punch to the ground, making a small crater. I won't lose, Sasuke says this to himself as he uses the impact of Vegeta's punch to launch himself in the air. As he falls, he begins to gain momentum, rapidly rolling, rolling and rolling and rolling. He's getting speed until he's right above Vegeta's neck. He uses the speed he's bend up to extend his leg and perform a drop kick to Vegeta's neck. Sensing this, Vegeta easily catches the boy's leg and thinks to himself, I'm starting to see what Whis was talking about. These kids might actually have potential. Vegeta smiles from the bit of fun that he's starting to have and throws the boy to the ground, knocking him unconscious. He then walks over to the lake, grabbing a bucket, filling it with water, dumping it on the kid. You okay? Vegeta asks. Who are you? Sasuke questioned. I'm Vegeta, prince of a dead race, and I want you to remember this pain and grow from it. Sasuke nods, filling a kindred soul with Vegeta. I'm Sasuke, the last surviving member of my clan. As Vegeta offers his hand to help the boy up, the two are surrounded by Ambu Black Ops members. Vegeta states, hmm, I was wondering when you would come out of hiding. Boy, are these friends of yours? Sasuke responds after gaining his composure. Not friends, per se. They're the Leaf Village's secret police. An elite ninja force. They're not a threat if you're not a threat. One of the Anbu speaks up. It's a woman with purple hair. She simply says, Exactly. Now if you could, please come with us to the Okage's office. By now, your friend in orange should be there. And we have a few questions for you. Vegeta, st Vegeta looks at Sasuke. Okage. That's your leader, correct? Yes, Sasuke responds. He then turns his attention back to the purple-haired woman. Then by all means, lead the way. End of chapter one. All right, all right, I'm back. You get to hear my smooth and seductive voice a little bit right now. So, I hope you enjoyed um, what if Naruto and Go what if Naruto and Sasuke were trained by Goku and Vegeta? Uh, this is chapter one. I already have the first five parts written. It can come out uh, at a sequential verse sequentially um, every week, probably every Monday or every Friday, simply because I work third shift schedule, so I don't want to overload myself. There's also going to be more videos. If you like the intro music, uh, that was my original song over the the baby beat toes. Um, if you like hip hop at all, please look me up. I have another channel, link in the description, called King Code. Also, Rustage, A, or any of you other anime rappers. I don't really know all your names, to be honest. 
If you want another voice, I'm right here. My rap voice is fire. My raps are fire, and I'm an amazing writer. So, peep it. Check it out. I always drop some mad shit. But, that being said, hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you come back for chapter two. Uh, like, comment, subscribe. You know all the shit. I definitely do want feedback. Let me know how I can improve my writing. Let me know if my voice is too quiet. Let me know if the editing was boring. I could always use help with that stuff. The audio editing is my thing, but video editing isn't really my forte. So, please, hook a brother up. Thank you. Goodbye. Without Henny and Brandy, bitch, you tryna say I was.